Now we are going to go here back and take the outcomes and use this one. Now same step, everything, copy the heading, copy the text, same thing like this. I'm going to do the same thing again and repeat everything. You might notice that once you are done with the first part, the rest part is rather simple and you just have to copy and paste and just change the context accordingly. Okay. So now these are the outcomes we can, we can also uh, name in, in a different way. We can say, let's say results and discussion. Okay, we are giving it a new name, let's say results and discussion. In the results and discussion, we rather have a little bit more longer uh, context. So we are going to use a little bit more longer space for this area. And we are going to represent our this section uh, with more details, something like this one. And then comes the discussion part, which is followed by that one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove discussion from here and add a discussion part below the results section. Okay. So now if we have this one, have this one, we're going to make sure that our second column also doesn't exceed the limit for our, uh, for our first column. For example, we, our first column was ending over here somewhere. So our second column should also end somewhere here. It should not go beyond this limit just to keep a consistency. Now I'm going to change the uh, heading over here and change it to discussion. So now how far we are halfway done and the more infographics you have, the more better it is. I will also show you how you can improve the, that part. And it is rather more simple how you can manage that part and see how what you can do to make your uh, work stand out uh, in comparison to other people. So now uh, comes the conclusion. Uh, conclusion has uh, some text boxes and some text. We are going to work on this part. Copy that and paste it here. I'm going to put it here and now I'm going to work on how to make it uh, look better. So first of all, I'm changed to make the sign same. I'm going to make it center. And if you can see that they are, they are having some shading. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to remove the shading and say no shade. And first, and then I will make sure that the layout, which is like the distribution of the rows is equal. So currently the distribution is not same. So I'm going to work on this part, select all of it and uh, decrease it. It doesn't work this way. So you can simply manually remove that. It looks like there's an extra space here. Yes, that it is. So I'm going to select it, select all, increase the width as I want and put it here. Now, if you want to keep the text size same as this one, you can do, but if you want to emphasize it a little bit more, you can make it a little bit more bigger than the normal size. Now, if you want, you can also add some, something like this. You can give a layout, uh, some, some color. Let's say if you want to do something like this, but for that, you need to change the color of the text also so that it is more prominent. Okay, so now if, when we have this one, we are going to work on the next part, which is the text following the outcomes, which is somewhere here. I'm going to copy this one, go back here to my original slide, bring this text over here, just simple copy and paste and paste it here. So now let's assume that this part has some more results just to cover some space. Okay, we can do something like this. Or one thing is you can select this one, bring it down here okay leave some space for the references select this one drag it and move it here so that now if you can guess what i'm doing i'm trying to make space for the pie chart that we had in the previous diagram i'm going to select this one copy that paste it here bring it to the top and i'm going to increase the size so that it can fit to the uh, boundary here so now this is our main diagram so if i increase if I select all and change the font to the one we are using, Century Gothic, I'm going to increase the size. You can see that uh, when I increase the size, the size uh, of the this part also increases and it also proportionally changes its orientation. Now, to make it more interactive, I'm going to give them data labels so that they look more better. I'm going to make them bold, increase the size a little bit so that they look a bit better than before. So now once you are done with this one, this looks a little bit empty. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to change its placement put it here and put it down here or the another way is that you can change this graph also to a bar graph so just go simply go to chart design and say change chart type so if you want to change chart type you can go to the columns and you can just simply use this graph over here okay so this is one way to manage your space and to make sure everything looks in a better way okay once you are done with this one i'm going to change this font also century gothic and make sure what is the font here it is 33 and here should also be 33 just to keep consistency. And once you are done with this one, I'm going to work on the next part, which is the references. 
so let's uh, work on the last part which is the references and then i will give you some tips how to improve the overall uh, presentation of your uh uh overall presentation of your poster okay references let's say these are my references i'm going to copy this one put it here and let's just remove this one remove this one also and this is our sample text okay let's say these are our references i'm going to delete the extra part make it down below and something like this so normally references are in number so uh, we are going to do something like that and we are going to give them something some uh, indents select all of them go here give them a number like this let's show that now your references have a number so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make sure that they're equal in the from the bottom they carry equal space put them here and now just copy one more line to make and uh, make sure everything is fine i'm just doing this for for this one uh, of course if you have your own data it's more easier and it's more better to manage the space and everything so uh, just please focus on how to do these things execute this thing don't focus on what I'm doing with the text part okay guys so now the initial part of your initial part of the poster is done now I'm going to show you how you can improve it so let's see we are going to copy this logo which the university has I don't know which X Y and Z university it is so I'm just going to copy it here and I'm going to not make it too big let's make it a little bit smaller and once you're done with this one you can also manage this space so if you can move this one over here and make sure that this is not going too forward or let's say we don't have three authors we only have two authors i'm going to uh, move this one over here and just drag this one select one and this space is empty now so now one, one thing that you can do is that you can either move all of things above or you can increase the space for your logo so let's say that we are going to make it a little bit higher and now we have more space for our references so let's go in, in a little bit more and copy and make one more reference copy that and paste it here and let's say we have a single line reference and insert let's say insert just to avoid the error okay guys now this is your poster now I'm going to show you what happens if you delete everything okay so now we once we are done with the margins we are going to remove these outlines remove this outline remove uh, sorry and remove this outline so now this is your first temporary look for your poster so honestly it looks much better than the one that we had before but if you want to add more things to it i'm going to make a separate part for this one you can follow after uh, watching this video and you can see what i can do to make it more beautiful and to make it more interactive so first of all what you have to do is you have to check which color looks good with this poster so i'm going to go in the design option form and background and I'm simply going to open this color bar and the colors that I mostly recommend are a little bit darker colors let's say we are going to work with the blue one but before that I'm going to make a copy I'm going to copy this one paste it here and paste one more three and four so that we have five different samples so now I'm going to change the color first make it a little bit more darker now the problem with the darker color is that you need to change the uh, change everything now you have to make it a little bit more lighter this goes white this goes white this goes white again and now simply this logo will also go to white just select this one go to color options and you will have an option for a white logo or if you have a white logo directly you can just use that one i'm going to just select this one this one and select every text that i have i'm going to quickly make them white simply i'm going to select this one make it white also increase the size but now you see i change the text they change everything so i'm going to do everything again series one series everything then comes this one select this one i'm going to make it white again and everything is fine so let's say this is 40 now i'm also going to make them 40 so that they are equal in size and shape everything let's just reduce a little bit so that it doesn't emphasize much and then this part comes you're going to select this one and make them white also so now you have a have your main part okay so now for the headings what you can do is you can make them either white or you can make them some other color but I recommend, recommend them making in some other color because now everything is darker. So now you see what did I do? Just simple things. It makes a completely different outlook of the poster. Now you see, I'll zoom in a little bit, you can see what happens. The poster looks much better and much more clear and professional. Okay. Just keep consistency in your poster and everything will be fine. Now let's just remove this one and try some other dark colors. I'm going to paste it three times so that we have different colors. You can't see it because every text is white. So I'm going to change the background first. I'm going to show you how does it looks like uh, with a little bit darker background. Now I'm going to go with another option. Choose this one. I'm going to choose make it another lighter tone, which is a little bit lighter blue. 
and it looks something like this now take another one and choose some other color and see how it looks like with this color okay so these are your options how you can make it look better now i'm going to show you something more interesting how you can emphasize this part a little bit more okay so stay with me so go to insert option take a shape option use this shape put a shape here so this is one way to do it or emphasize your part uh, part what you can do is send it to back you can change its color if one blue is okay if you don't want it to be blue it's up to you now as you can see that we have already have this text now I can remove the uh, decrease a little bit of the shape length and I could put this inside okay so now you can see here's a whole new picture for this poster now I'm going to do the same thing over here put it back here send it to back and make sure it's a little bit down and aligned in decrease its length okay decrease length from here now you can see I'm going to put it in the center and it looks much better than before so the thing that you want to highlight you can just simply do them like this add them add a boundary behind them and you can simply change the outlook of your poster totally so that's all from the video for the poster making i hope you guys enjoyed it if you have any questions if you have any queries leave your comments down below i'm also going to attach this powerpoint presentation in the microsoft file in the youtube file in the link down in the description you can check it out if you want my help for, to help you make a poster let me know i can guide you and i can help you improve your orientation and your presentation for microsoft uh made powerpoint powerpoint made posters so let's just quickly have a review for these posters so this is the first one second one third one fourth one fifth one just remember that i don't have enough uh, uh text enough uh, information to show that's why i'm just using simple text uh, to make a poster if you guys like this video if you haven't watched my previous videos do watch them and if you haven't subscribed my channel do subscribe that it helps me a lot and it motivates me a lot so if you have any questions, leave your comments down below. I will quickly get back to your questions and I will help you as much as possible. Till then, take care. Allah Hafiz.